He speaks! Oh! I speak again, bright angel! For thou art as glorious to this night, being over my head, as is the winged messenger of heaven, as in the white, upturned, wandering eyes of mortals who fall upon their backs to gaze at him, as he bestrides the lazy, puffy cows and sails upon the bosom of the air! Romeo! Oh, it's the famous bit! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, to my ghostly friar, sir, his help to crave and my dear help to tell. Now, ere the sun advance and burning high, the day to cheer and night stank you to dry, I must upfill this osier cage of ours with baleful weeds and precious juiced flowers. Now, I should probably just address one or two things I am sure you are all thinking. What? This is not some kind of industrial-sized windsock pilfered from some local airport. And two, this is not lycra. This is polyester. <laughs> not that kind of fryer. If you will patiently dance in our round and see our moonlight rebels, Go with us. If not, shun me and I will spare your horns. Give me the boy and I will go with thee. Not for thy fairy kingdom. Fairies are way we shall chide down right if I longer say. Well, go thy way. Thou shalt not from this grove till I torment thee for this injury. My gentle puck, come hither. Thou rememberest when once I sat upon a promontory and heard a mermaid on a dolphin's back utter such harmonious and dulcet breath that the rude sea grew similar to the song and certain stars shot madly from their spheres to hear the sea maid's music. I remember. That very time I saw, but thou couldst not, flying between the cold moon and the earth, Cupid, all armed. A certain aim he took at a fair vestal thrown by the west, and loosed his love shaft smartly from his bow as it should pierce a hundred thousand hearts. But. shall be swift and nasty. Thou art a villain and a coward more loathsome than dog poo up someone's nose. And verily wetter than ever what. <laughs> I challenge thee to a duel in which I'm sure thou will fight like a monkey called <laughs> I shall tweak thy ear, pluck thy hand and wring thy leg. Thou shalt answer me with a sword. Love and hugs. <laughs> Even for that do I love you the more. I am your spaniel, and to be just the more you beat me, I will fawn on you. Treat me but as your spaniel. Burn me, strike me, neglect me, lose me, but give me leave, unworthy as I am, to follow you. Don't too much the hatred of my spirit, for I am sick when I do look on you. And I am sick when I look not on you. You do impeach your modesty too much. To leave the city and commit yourself into the hands of one who loves you not, to trust the opportunity of night and the ill counsel of a desert place with the rich worth of your virginity.